Hello, today I would like to show you this absolutely beautiful vintage Russian space heater. I would almost say a Soviet Russia, but it was made in the 91. But I'm pretty sure the device was made, like the design was made much earlier because it just give you a 70s and 90s vibe. Of course, a red like color. It is quite interesting model because it's making a two purpose. So you can use this as a fan in summer to cool you down. But in winter you can go with a heating mode. First, let's take a look at the regulation. So we can go up and down. So just imagine if you put it under your desk, you can nicely direct the heat toward you. That's what you do with a uh, space heaters. The enclosure is made out of plastic. The front is made out of some sort of metal. Inside you can see a resistive wire and here is a banded metal piece that possibly it is a thermal protection that looks like a, some sort of a bimetallic strip, that one that is bent. I'm not sure if you can see it, but that's my assumption. But of course I would not use it for heating my home. We've got a long way with making a device much safer. So nowadays you need to have a thermal fuse, you need to have a thermostatic switch tip protection that much more, those I'm pretty sure do not have it. This is the, the bag and here you can take a look at the back plate. So it was designed to be operated with a 220 volts, 50 hertz and it's pulling a 6 amp. Here we can see something with a 87 but I'm not sure if this is a project of that device or some form of regulatory norm that this device is passing. If we take a look from the bottom, it's going to reveal its secret because we've got not a regular fan, but fan that is made out of those blades. I think that's the correct way to move it. And it's pushing a lot of air but at the same time not making a large amount of noise. So it is absolutely beautiful. As you can see, it's working whisper quiet. I absolutely love this device. Honestly, I never saw that type of fun in any consumer electronics. They are pretty often in a commercial grade equipment, like in a industrial oven, and then they are made out of steel. But yeah, it is quite interesting approach. If you take a look at the front panel, we've got a lot of switches, four of them. Two of them, they are designed to control just fun. So if you are in summer, you can make it running without any heat just to cool you down. But then you can go with a first stage heating and the second stage to give you a maximum heat wave. Let's try to plug this device and see how well does it operate. Let's start from just fun. The first stage, we've got nice blow of air. If we would like to have more, then the second stage is ours. And take a look how beautiful they make this first switch illuminated. Second stage, it's like a jet engine. And now we can start and play with a heating. Here I've got a temp meter and we can make a simple test what kind of heat can we get from it. So this is reading a pretty accurate value of my room. And let's go to the first stage. And as you can see, the temp is rising. I can feel the heat wave. 
absolutely beautiful. Yeah, this is what you want in winter. You can clearly see why it's made out of metal. If that would be plastic, it would be definitely having a trouble. Yeah, it starts getting hot like in hell. We've got a 65 Celsius degree. That's a good one. It's hot like in hell and we've got a 70 Celsius degree. And this is a first stage. So let's go to stage two and see what's going to happen. I can feel a heat wave that is so hard for me to keep the pro and we are outputting over over 160 celsius degree that's so hot that it's hard to believe yeah this is pretty hot I'm pretty sure the I'm pretty sure that the bimetallic element kicks in because the temp is dropping And the bimetallic element kicks in, you can hear the click, the temp is rising, so it is a crazy amount of heat, absolutely. You can't, you could make a pizza on it, that's a pretty crazy value to have that in your apartment. Just imagine if that would touch to something, then you would definitely get a burn it definitely cycling on off so the bimetallic part is working i can't imagine what would happen if the fan would stop spinning pretty dangerous device and let's go back to something normal and yeah it is absolutely beautiful device working perfect the heat wave from that is absolutely, absolutely amazing. You could put an egg over here and make it crisp. So yeah, we've got an absolutely beautiful device and I enjoy it. So thank you very much for watching. I hope you find it interesting. See you next time and bye bye.